I wanted to talk I wanted to talk briefly today about the uh, power of our Comer tool, the trade site Comer tool. And it's not just about finding buy and sell points in the market, but really it's about establishing a very, very tight risk profile on the trades that we do take with the tool. So what the tool does is a couple things. First, it, it gives us a potential energy setup in the market, and that's identified by what we call a green one to nine count on anything. You can do this on any asset class, any time frame, anything you need. So here's the five minute ES chart from today. And this is a few bars in, almost about 45 minutes into the day. You can see the small eight that's above this bar right here. And so this next bar as I move forward, what you're gonna see is, there's our nine. That's the setup phase for, meaning there's been an energy move in the market. And sometimes that alone is enough to slow the market down, cause it to pause. But what we're really looking for for an ultimate sell signal or reversal point in the market, and remember, this is on uh, this is on Thursday, September 6th, the day that the market broke out of a very long base cup and handle formation on the daily. So obviously we've got a lot of momentum, but what we're looking for for a sell point in the market is now the pink or magenta numbers that you see going to what's called a 13, and they use a specific bar counting technique to look back. We've documented this on many of our prior videos, so I'm not gonna get into that now, but let's watch as it plays out, and, and not only notice after we get the 13, there's your 11, 12, and the next move up will give us 13, okay? But notice that there's your cell signal, there's your arrow. So what, what it does is it actually gives us, for the ES, a very tight uh, trade, and what that means is, at some point in here we're looking to sell. It doesn't always mean just sell at that price. I like to look at some sort of rollover. So I'm looking at the low of the prior five minute bar. We break beneath that, I'm gonna sell short. If we keep going higher, we break beneath that, I'm gonna sell short the low of that bar. So you look for some sign, some confirmation from the market. I'm not just blindly selling short because of the 13. But watch what happens here. You see a little pink line right here under the 13 that's gonna to start to form. That's your risk line. What that is is, that's a measurement of where we would stop out of this trade. So if I was to get short, I would I would get out of the trade if we get a close above that bar. But what you'll find is that a lot of times these risk lines, as we call them, are support and resistance on their own. And so here we are. We're only an hour and a half into the market. We've had a big gap up, what we call a gap and go day. Market's breaking out. There's great volume. And, and so, so far you can see there's your sell. We're getting one more move up here. We came within a tick or so of that risk line. And now we're basing right underneath it. Nope, there we just touched the risk line. See, you can't get through, right? And then you base and you come back up right underneath it by a tick. Oh, there's another one where we just touched the risk line. And look at this, this continues all day long. We make a little pullback. So what the signal's giving you is not only a, a, a sell point, a rever potential reversal point that you could have used somewhere along the way in here to get short, but also a stop out point. And that stop out point very often becomes very solid support or resistance, in this case resistance for the market. Okay, and, and eventually we get a little bit of a dip here, but really the afternoon ends up being flat. So the market does, the signal does give us the top for the day. It doesn't really turn into anything if you sold short, but after this much time, at some point in time, you kind of give up on the trade. But what it does is it allows you to give it that time, know where your stop out would be very, very specifically. And then if nothing happens at some point in time, you can give up. So we're looking for the completion of the energy move. And I think the Comer really nailed it today. And again, even if I go forward a few more bars, you know, we just never got above that line. We keep using it as resistance. So it's a very powerful tool. Again, it works on all asset classes in all time frames.